top six stocks to buy in August 2022, and this may be our chance to create generational wealth for us and our family. This video is packed with DD and 100 to 1,000 percent opportunities inside of this video. Penny stocks, OTC stocks, and NASDAQ stocks, and IPOs as well, because IPOs are extremely hot. And all I'm asking out of this video is a quick like on the video. And if you enjoy these daily uploads, turn on the notification bell because these videos are very time sensitive. But before I get into the stocks, I have to talk about this major mover, AMTD digital ticker H. KD. You may have seen this one floating around all of our social media, shocking everybody. Most people did not get into this stock because of how much it went up and everybody was afraid to get in it. But as you can see, it just continued to skyrocket higher. A lot of people did, didn't get into it either because it was at $100, $200, $300. A lot of retail is trading stocks, you know, under $5. This stock just IPO'd on the market and officially started trading on July 15th. And from net then, when it IPO'd, when it came on the market till now, it has went from $15 per share to nearly hitting $1,000 per share in after hours today, which is a 6,000% return in just 10 days. The market cap is $137 billion. Yes, you see that correct on your screen. After going public, with just a $1 billion market cap, the market cap has 137X. That puts it at the 80th largest company in the world. And you've never heard of AMTD Digital, which is five spots above AT&T, which makes significantly more money and revenue than this random company. And HKD is only doing 50 million revenue per quarter, not even a billion revenue per year, making this very overvalued fundamentally, but that is not what this is. This is a short squeeze. This is exactly what you truly consider to be a short squeeze and the cost to borrow to short is over 100 or a thousand percent right now, meaning shorts are still discouraged from even taking a short position because they're going to have to pay up heavily for every day that they're holding that short position. If you put $1,000 into this stock at the IPO price, you would have $128,000 in just 10 days. The sympathy to this play has been ticker AMTD that is up over 70% after hours is posted in the Discord multiple days ago and today at 7 o'clock a.m., well before that 70% rip. Also, ticker KRKR is also a sympathy to HKD and AMTD. They have ties to both of these companies. IPOs are very hot. HKD was an IPO, and here's a list of new ones coming up this week. BIAF will be publicly traded soon, BRSH, and LPTV. I'll be posting about another upcoming IPO opportunity very soon that I personally like. I don't know much about these ones, but another one that I personally like. Just make sure you have the bell on to get here instantly for that play. And speaking of the Discord, here are just some wins from the Discord today alone. 50% on Rev, $950 profit on AEMD, $400 on AEMD, 232% on EMG, 130% on EMG, $82 on IFXY, $1,500 on AEMD, 109% on EMGE, 82% on EMGE. This is just today alone. And we're going to be doing this all month. I'm telling you right now, hop in that private discord link in the top pin comment. And this is just a few of many members posting their significant returns from call outs in the discord. First talk ticker EMGE at 0.042 up 18% of the day, $5.7 million market. Cut. I've been covering this one every video in the beginning of my videos because it's literally been hitting new highs every single day that we've been covering the stock since one cent on the the channel and you got it at even under a penny in the private discord and emge was expected to complete their first acquisition today but never ended up posting the pr which sucks but it's not so bad that they missed a deadline i do have something that's not so good that happened after hours today but i would like to see this pr at least posted this week and they're supposed to close the acquisition of regen bio wellness first and then evolutionary biologics and then fusion specialty during this quarter but they posted dilution after hours today this will likely cause some sort of panic tomorrow it probably will unless they are able to post all their acquisitions in a timely manner to reduce some of the panic and you know this sh should not shock us at all because after the authorized share increase and the email they sent to a shareholder stating they do plan some dilution in the near future they literally said it to us this is why i always preach taking profits on the way higher especially if you notice yourself up hundreds of percentage points 
you got to take profit in this market, especially with penny stocks. Next stock ticker, WNFT, Worldwide NFT, a $33 million market cap sitting at six cents, up 7% on the day. This is a George Sharp merger play. George Sharp is the one that brought TSNP, now humble, from a 0 0.000 per share to $7 per share. And many are hoping that he will be able to do this again, even a quarter of what he did with TSNP and humble to WNFT this time. WNFT was previously over 40 cents per share, and really nothing has actually changed since it was at that price to where it's at now at six cents, except for the timeline of the merger completion. The PR that caused the fall was basically they had court proceedings. They didn't completely get what they needed to get done in the court proceedings to make it simple for you to understand, and they couldn't get the reverse merger done right on time, but they're still getting it done and they still seem to have a company lined up. The good news from the PR was that Forwardly purchased a WNFT warrant that provides the right to purchase $5 million WNFT shares at 32 cents per share and we're sitting at 6 cents and WNFT is also negotiating another 5 million for financing. George Sharp is betting that WNFT can at least get back to 32 cents per share at some point. I believe George will bring in a great merger for WNFT. We have no idea how long it will take though. So you have to have patience with WNFT, but we do know there is a court date coming on August 11th. And if this does go successful, they will be able to complete the merger very soon, especially if they've already have one lined up. Basically the previous owner of the shell is fighting to keep shares of WNFT. And here are the possible outcomes of this court date. Colasso wins appeal and gets shares WNFT as a successful merger. Colasso and George settle. That would be the that would be the best case scenario. And WNFT has a successful merger. Classic gets nothing. WNFT has a su successful merger. I can see some positive price action leading up to August 11th. And hopefully WNFT comes out on top because it could continue to rise after August 11th if the court case is positive. Next stock, OWUV at eight cents at a $12 million market cap, a low float stock. I talked about this one in yesterday's video. They posted news for us today and even tweeted out a clip from our video when we covered their stock. The company, you know, they, they literally did it. I have no control over a company tweeting out a clip from my video, but they went ahead and did it. In that video, I mentioned this company is not afraid to tweet at multiple PRs per day. And they basically confirmed that by posting this right here. They also sent out a tweet. We are looking to give back to nature and bring a balance to marine ecology through our investments and developments with green products and technology. They put out a press release basically where they're working on this film, this movie with a bunch of different NFL players. And in the film, on the streets of Hollywood, a recently retired NFL player is saved from scandal by a homeless veteran with their glory days behind them. And the two men bond in search of purpose and identity. And you have a ton of NFL personalities that will be in this movie featuring with OWUV alongside people like Sylvester Stallone is going to be partnered with this film. And there was an after hours tweet expanding international executive meeting with Nate Boyer to discuss projects outside of the U.S. launching our OWUV international movement. Overall, OWUV is very active. They're projecting 150 million revenue per quarter, according to a recent PR. This could be enough to sustain a run in the short term and medium term. Always look for dips on any of these stocks. And while I'm talking about OWUV, I have to remind you about ILST at 0 0.0046. They have an upcoming merger as well. And I added shares of ILST on the dip today. And I'm patient with this one. I'll wait this one out as long as I can. We should be getting an announcement coming sometime soon at a $9.2 million market cap. And like I said, it requires patience, but they created a website, Twitter, and updated the description stating they completed a merger already and are acquiring even more companies while they wait for the official reveal. The reason I mentioned ILST alongside OWUV that's been successful lately is because the current president of ILST and the one facilitating this ILST merger is the current CEO of OWUV. They're connected directly when it comes to management. Next stock ticker GEGI at 0 0.0037, up 39% on the day. They just got pink current today, which is always a catalyst for an OTC company. And then they sent out this tweet. We are excited to see pink current. It's going to be a busy week. Maybe they have a PR coming up. We have a narrow focus. Look for news to come. So I expect news this week. And what they have going on is very impressive because on May 31st, 
They put out news revealing their business plan that they will seek acquisitions or license agreements with autonomous technology companies, and they're assembling a high-quality team of, of advisors and partners that are making introductions to companies that could be great candidates for acquisitions or licensing agreements. We look forward to formalizing our relationships with these individuals and company and making these announcements in the near future. And they also have a new interim website, Autonomous Transportation, Autonomous Security, and Artificial Intelligence. You can see some clips of their website here. And they made a significant hire in June, making it seem like to me that they're looking to get acquisitions done and roll out their business plan. And he has experience at SpaceX, Northrop Grunman, Power Technology, XOS Truck, Canoe, all of these different companies. The main one I'm looking at is SpaceX, and it seems to me GEGI is gearing up for an acquisition or a rollout of some sort in a very exciting sector. If they can put out news similar to what VAPR did, this has extreme potential. Next stock ticker IFXY at 0 0.0062 down on the day, a $37 million market cap. And the CEO sent out this tweet that IFXY shareholders, I wanted to tell you this myself, we have completed the acquisition of Me Pulp, which is doing 22 million revenue per year and a potentially 30 to 40 million revenue in 2022, an official PR and OTC markets changer control filing to come. And they delivered directly after that tweet, putting out a change of control filing, which shows the merger is complete, zero shares added, meaning zero dilution, 120K cash paid for the transaction. Several additional mergers are pending, shell status terminated and rapid growth across the USA. And these are Jose Pinetas, the CEO of this company that's bringing in Me Pulp, which is a 22 million revenue producing company. He has three other companies. The other one has 20 million in annual revenues. And another one is projecting 75 million revenue. And another one has over 2 billion techs on the platform. So the potential for IFXY is extreme. I think the people that sold today may regret it tomorrow. We will see. Make sure you drop a quick like on this video. Hop in the private discord if you really want stock alerts and make a lot of money in this market. And that is it for me. Peace.